this is Steve who's come on the day trip adventure today yeah. he's very keen to get outdoors out of London yeah. and um, so we're just gonna um, have a bit of uh, breakfast yeah. here welcome for breakfast nice sweet. really sweet right yeah. yeah so get out and pick some black currants so I'm walking the River Medway walk this morning which would be a more gentle walk compared to last time. So I'm at Allington Castle, walking uh, from away from Maidstone in the direction towards Rochester. So this is going to be a lovely, relaxing walk on the flat ground this week. No huge mountains to climb, just a nice, gentle river stroll. It's so nice to be on the river again. This is the tidal section of the River Medway because the River Medway goes out to Rochester and then joins the River Thames. There's no train coming, Steve. Another one? No. Just had a thought here talking with Steve and I was talking about you know the different types of people I mean some people are quite content to live at a certain place maybe they live and they can see a big mountain you know that's sort of not far from the village where they live and they're quite happy just looking at that mountain and not wondering much about what's on the other side of the mountain but then other people look at that mountain and think well I wonder what's on the other side of that mountain I wonder what would happen if I climbed that mountain and had a look over the other side what would I find there and so those people go searching you know they want more they want to find out more they're more curious about the world and what's around them I want to be someone who's curious about my surroundings and go on little excursions and little um, day trips like this and find out a little bit more I want my world to become a little bit bigger you know so that I can say well I've been there and, and that's a good place to go and you know I don't want to just be stuck in that little village looking at the mountain I want to be going beyond what I know already so really that's the philosophy of this channel really just trying to help us just to lift up our eyes to the hills look at that mountain and then maybe climb that mountain and go beyond onto the other side and who knows what happened on the way you've got to take a risk a bit of courage but that's part of the adventure so here we go we're walking into Aylesford a beautiful country village English country village in the summer uh, this bridge must be hundreds of years old lovely view the tide's gone out these are the old passing places. You see, this bridge would have been, when it was built, it would have been coaches and horses coming through here. It wouldn't have even been traffic. During the 19th century, they put prisoners in a cage here, in Ellsford Cage. So they would just put them in the cage and leave them there until they went to the magistrate. So it's pretty brutal in those days, wasn't it? But this has been, it's no, it's no longer here. So thank God for that. But this is the wall where the cage was. So it's getting to that time of year now, coming into autumn, isn't it? When the acorns are almost ready, see this? I remember playing with these as a kid. Really, the end of summer now. I think the end of summer has come early. So you can see all the berries are out. You know, we've got the acorns. Then we'll have the uh, chestnuts coming out. So that, that's why getting out in the countryside, it's never the same, really, because especially if you've been walking through spring and you've seen everything come out and all the flowers come out. Now, I'm not going to eat it, but it does remind me, it does look like a damson. I think it might be a damson tree, but it looks very much like a damson.
Look at these berries, there's so many of them. Lovely old Saxon church. open. Wow. It's lovely and cold in here. It's like air conditioning in here. This big, really thick stone walls keeps the heat out, that's for sure. Look at the ceiling on these churches. They look like um, old ships, the way they built them. The timbers. Amazing. They must be, I know, centuries old. They look like crab apples. Probably very, very sour, or not ready yet. But that one, actually, I'm not sure. This one looks like it's a little bit red. There are all sorts of fruit out here this time of year. So I really encourage you to go out and do a bit of foraging for something, but make sure you know what you're, what you're eating. But there's a lot of stuff out there now especially down here in Kent and berries and so if you know what you're looking for there's a nice little apple there look at that these apples look um, almost the red look at this one yeah. it's weird though isn't it is that an apple it doesn't look like an apple tree it is from here oh yeah so all these apples look at that one that looks like it's ready yeah them ones Absolutely laden with, with apples. Yes, God, for choice. So we've got, we're having a really healthy diet, Steve, aren't we? Oh, yeah. And you can see on that, the, that side of the tree, there's loads of, of red ones that are ripe there. I don't know what type of apple. Healthy, actually. What's it like? Hmm? Okay, a bit, bit, bit um, very sour. Not too sour. Not sour? Well, I'm going to try this one. This seems quite fresh. Mm. That's nice. Actually, that is nicer than the apple in the, in the supermarket. Yeah, isn't it? You better join us. So, obviously, this is a, a wild apple tree. We're not taking it from someone's garden. This is a public footpath. So you can see on there just how many apple tree, apple, apples are there on the tree. So it looks like it's a really good year this year for fruit. It, there's like an abundant supply of fruit on these trees. So really, you know, go out and have a look. I mean, like I say, this is a wild apple tree. You can make um, apple and blackcurrant uh, crumble. Really nice recipe. Just go out and get, get harvest your own food. There's so much free food here. So we're walking along the river where it meanders quite, it's quite a sharp meander here. So it sort of feels like we're walking around in a big circle, which we are actually. This is some commemorative stone. It says commemorates the Battle of the Medway. Can you read the date on that? Um, when, when the Roman army crossed the river and defeated the British tribes under Caraticus. Yes. Has it got a date on there? AD 43? Well, yeah, so AD 43, this is where the Romans crossed the river, so when they invaded. AD 43. That's a long time. And not too far now to Waldham. Nice bit of history there, we didn't expect to see that. You never know what you're going to find on these walks. So we're back on the river now and we're now at a place called Peter's which is a new development of sort of nice flats looking out to the river so coming to the end of the walk really so for this walk I'd say you know it's the lower section of the Medway as you get closer to Rochester I think the more picturesque stretches are further back the other way further um, upstream 
so I'm going to pick up one of those sections maybe next time so if you're going to walk this walk I think you know it's been fun because we've uh, been walking together and chatting and everything else and because there's a lot of things to see in terms of the seasons and the fruit and the, the blackberries the apples a bit of history so it's all it's all been good fun there's never a wasted day trip but I think in terms of the actual walk itself it's not really as picturesque as some of the other walks you could do in the area um, you've got the North Downs just very close to here so they're much more picturesque than this one but it's still very pleasant to be out on a Saturday getting a bit of uh, sunshine and getting some uh, fresh air so I hope you enjoyed this um, this little walk and uh, I will see you next time if you like the video press the like and I'd love to have you um, join my next adventure too so thanks for watching and uh, thank you, thank Steve you. say goodbye too bye bye guys this is it's been an adventure one of Steve's first walks for a number of years so yeah so well. Steve has become a new day tripper so until next time I'll see you see you soon bye